In today's tutorial, we shall be discussing about important calculator tricks that will help you excel in all your mathematics exams. The questions are gotten from SSC past questions and AF 900 level exam paper on MTH 101. Let's get started. First of all, you have to clear your calculator so as to enable you to delete every file that is not necessary for your calculation. What do you do? Just press Shift 9. You see clear. Option 1 is set up. 2 memory and 3 all. I want to clear all, so I'll click 3. It tells you to reset all. To set all, you press A button. To cancel, you press AC button. I want to reset all. I'll press A button, then AC button. My calculator has been reset and it's ready for use now. Let me start with the number one question. It says, solve for x in the equation 2 over 3 open bracket 2x minus 1 close the bracket equal to 1 over 4 open bracket 5x minus 3 close the bracket the leading value there is a fraction so i will press fraction button and impute the value the numerator is 2 then i will press forward button to go to denominator and that is 3 i will press forward button again open bracket 2x the x is gotten from castle calculator by pressing alpha close bracket then minus 1 you close the bracket now equal to you are not going to use this equal to you are going to use alpha calc you have your equal to another fraction 1 forward button 4 forward button again you open bracket 5 alpha close bracket you have your x minus 3 you close the bracket now you say shift calc to tell you to solve for x with the first iteration at 0 if you're having this first iteration to be any value outside 0, that means you didn't clear your calculator. So you have to reset your first iteration to be 0 by pressing 0 uh, before you go to your equal to. You see the value of our x here is minus 1 and the minus 1 is option C. We clear that and go to second question. It says solve the equation 3x minus 2y equal to 7 and x plus 2y equals to minus 3. You press your mode in the calculator. You see option 5 equation, you press the option 5. In this option 5, number 1 is an equation with 2 unknown. Number 2 is an equation with 3 unknown, that is x, y, and z. And number 3 is a quadratic equation, whereas number 4 is a polynomial. So, option number 1, that is with what we are going to solve here, which is equation with 2 unknown x and y, because we have x and y in the equation which are the two unknown. You kindly press 1. So it will take you to where you input the values of x and y. Let's I forget, once you have your values represented, you have to check if they are represented in order. What do I mean? You have 3x minus 2y equals to 7. If the second equation reads 2y plus x equals to minus 3, you are going to reset it so that if x is coming first here, yeah, x will come first in the second one so that it will be arranged in the same format with the calculator. And there you have the coefficient of the first alphabet, which is 3. You press equal to, you have minus 2, equal to, and the constant is 7, equal to. To take it to the second equation, which is the number 2 row, there you have the coefficient of x to be 1, equal to, coefficient of y there is 2, and you have equal to, and the constant is minus 3, equal to. You press equal to again to have your x as 1, equal to again, and you have y to be minus 2. Option A is the only one having x to be 1 and y to be minus 2. Therefore, option A is our answer. You clear that. Shift 9, 3, equal to AC. Number 3 says, simplify log root of 27 all over log root of 81. This is fraction. Press your fraction button, you have log. You close this bracket before you press the backward button to go inside the bracket and uh, you input root 27. The essence of closing the bracket before inputting the value is that if you don't do that, it will give you math error. Forward button again to go to denominator where you have log, close bracket, backward button, root 81. Then you equate it to 3 all over 4. 
that's option D. You see, passing mathematics exam is not all about how intelligent you are, but how smart you are. Number four says, evaluate log 6 base 3 minus 4 log 5 base 2 plus 2 over 5 log 36 base 3. You're going to use this type of log, the one that has base, unlike the one you used before that doesn't have base. So anyone that doesn't have base, whenever a log is written without base, that means it is in base 10. So we have the base here as 3. You press the forward button and you have 6. Forward button again, you have minus 4. Another log, base 2. Forward button, you have 5. Forward button again, you have plus. A fraction, which is 2. Forward button, 5. Forward button again, log. Base 3. Fourth button, 36. Then it's equal to minus 6.35. And that is option C. You clear it. And number 5 says, if root 72 plus root 32 minus 3 root 18 is equal to x root 8, find x. So let's do that quickly. That waste of time. We have square root of 72. You press the fourth button. The essence of pressing the fourth button is to tell the calculator that you are no longer inside the square root. Then plus square root of 32. Fourth button again. Minus 3 square root of 18. Is equal to as alpha calc. Then you have x square root of 8. Shift calc. Then equal to. You have 0 0.5. And that is the same as 1 all over 2. Option A. Now let's clear it. Question number 7 says, find the smaller value of x that satisfies the equation x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation, even without being told. So you go to your mode, press mode. Uh, at option 5, you have equation, you press 5. Then the quadratic equation here is option 3. So you can only press option 3. It will take you to where you input the values of a, b, c. And A is the coefficient of x squared, B is the coefficient of x, what I see is the constant. The coefficient of x squared here is 1, you press equal to. Coefficient of x is 7, you press equal to. The constant, which is 10, equal to, equal to again. You have that x1 is equal to minus 2, and the x2 is equal to minus 5. The option says the smaller value of x. So the smaller value of x is x2, which is minus 5. You know, minus 5 is smaller than minus 2. It's just like you owing someone $5 and the other person owing someone $2. You know, you should be troubled more than the person that's owing somebody $2. So that is the simple idea here. And also, in solving your quadratic equation, even with your pen, whenever you have the smaller value, always take it as your x2, whereas the bigger value is the x1. Clear that? Question 7 says y plus 2 all over 4 minus y minus 1 all over 3 is equal to 1. Find the value of y. First of all, this is a fraction. So you press the fraction button and then again, you have y in your calculator. y is alpha, this sd button, but you're not going to use y. Do you know why? Because you're not inputting y in a castle calculator without involving x first. If you input y, it will not work without having worked with x. It's just in alphabetical order. x comes before y. So whenever you have a letter in your equation which involves anything that is not x, use x in place of the letter. But in a situation where you have x and y, then you can use x as the first letter and y as the second letter. In that case, it will work. So let's use x in place of y. Forward button, you have 4. Forward button again, minus fraction of 4, yeah, minus 1. Forward button, you have 3. Forward button again, you have alpha cap 1, and you solve for x. You have minus 2, and that is option B, minus 2. Clear that, because you are done solving it. Then, the question number 8 says, if E is equal to MN all over S plus N, and E is equal to 75, M equals to 120, N as 5,000, find S. So we have E to be 75, it's equal to, you are not going to use the other equal to, you use this one. Um, you have fraction, M is 120, multiplied by N, which is 5,000. Forward button, 
you have s plus n like i explained earlier any letter you're using in equation must start with x so initial or non variable in classical calculator must be x therefore you're going to use x in place of s plus n which is 5000 you press shift cap so for x you have 3000 and 3000 is option c so it is we've come to the end of part one video tutorial on um, how to solve your general mathematics exam and even further math exam question with calculator please if you don't want to miss the part two of this video kindly click the subscription button turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop part two of this video you'll be notified and don't forget click the like button and uh, drop a comment in this video thank you and remember